Alright, good afternoon fam. Today is Sunday, March 7th, uh, 2021, and it's about nearly 1.30 in the afternoon. And today I'm going to go into the greenhouse and show you what I'm going to do with some seeds. I'm getting ready to plant some, uh, some uh, peppers and things from seed. And I'm going to show you one method that you can uh, use to uh, save seeds. So let's go in the greenhouse and see what we got. All right. Okay, we're here in the greenhouse, and I um, here's some seeds that I saved. Uh, I took the last fall, you know, before the frost came, first freezing it came. I picked some um, peppers, and like Peter Piper. <laughs> but anyway, and I just instead of taking them the seeds out, I just left them in the pot. So so now you know what kind of pepper you have. Now this is a um, cayenne pepper right here, you know. Uh, red pepper, cayenne, cayenne pepper. This and this is uh, Tabasco, Tabasco pepper right here. So we have all different types of peppers, and this is a jalapeno pepper. Okay, and this here is a ghost pepper. Now let's take let's take the uh let's open the pods here and see what we got. Now here's the seeds to the to the um Tabasco pepper. Like I said, this is Tabasco. Little Tabasco. Okay. And when I opened it up, I got the Tabasco uh pepper seeds. So they're ready to plant. They're intact. They've been overwintered. I mean, they've been stored and dried over the winter. So, and I'll do all these other seeds like this. Now, let's look at the uh, let's look at the uh, cayenne, red pepper. All right. Oh, okay, fam. Here's the cayenne. Let me see. Can I break it apart live on this? See how good those seeds look. See there now and so now you know what kind of peppers they are because you left them in the pod in the fall when you before the first uh, freezing you know frost or whatever uh, killed your plant but anyway look now look at all those seeds and that's just from one pod from one uh, this is cayenne pepper so I'll, I'll get ready to plant these seeds and concept of 360 start all over again all right okay so now it's time to uh, prepare uh, to prepare to plant my seeds and so I got my potting soil amendments all together which is all organic you know now and I'm getting ready to add my feed okay and some feed just to kind of boost it up a little bit and this is what I call my gooba dust Okay, look, 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 see that there, see that there, that's some potting feed, okay, potting mixed feed, I just mix that in there, okay, just mix it in real good, and the next step is to put it into these little trays here, alright, and by the way, it's um, Tuesday, March 9th, and it's, uh, it's Tuesday morning, and it's about 7.30 in the morning, so, yes, it's a new day. I've had to take a couple of days off to have some stuff. But anyway, so, uh, Tuesday, March 9th. So, I'm getting ready to plant these, so y'all can kind of keep up with the date. You know, keep up with me on when these um, pepper plants, you know, peppers take a long time to germinate. So, but I'm going to put this in the pot, and we'll go from there. All right. Okay, now, I want to... Uh, Show you cats something else too. Now I'm getting ready. Here's my seeds. I'm getting ready to put them in there. Now I counted them, and there's roughly, you know, I just did that one cayenne pepper pod, right? The one cayenne pepper pod, and that one pod produced about 50, had about 50 seeds in it. So kind of keep that in mind, and you can count your own when you do your other. They vary. I'm quite sure on how many seeds are in one pod, but but just imagine, put this in your head. Uh, you have 50 seeds. And only one pot. Now you, now you can just imagine how many seeds I got in these different varieties of peppers here. 
So, and this, here's how I'm going to do it, uh, like I did in some of my other videos. Check this out. Okay, I'm going to take about four seeds and put them, and put them in each one of these, uh, deals here. All right. All right, let me see if I can do this. Okay, there's two already there. Three, four. There's four seeds there. And you know, once they start, once they sprout, I'll separate them. All right. Okay, fam. Now, as you see, I got about four of them in each little spot there. And I, uh, when, like I said, when they get up, and, you know, I'll separate them. So four times, um, six times four is 24. So that's 24 plants. If all of them don't make it, you, you probably have, um, you know, at least 20 anyway. So out of 24, maybe all of them will make it. I don't know. But, um, but 20 plants. Let's just imagine 20 um cayenne pepper plants in this case or whatever kind of pepper you plant and one thing that's a lot of plants all right okay now now i'll sprinkle i just laid them on top of that i'm going to sprinkle some of my magic organic uh potting soil mix like i said these are from my, my different amendments they're from a compost and and worm castings and all of them thing. And remember, here's my gooba dust. Gooba, gooba, gooba. Gooba dust. For 1995, I'll show you what's in it. Anyway. Uh, Alright, so it's March. What did I say? March 9th? Something, whatever. And we'll see what... Uh, I'll keep you posted on the progress of this plant, pepper planting from seed. Alright. Now that I got them into, they got the seeds planted and covered. I'm going to put some water in it. I don't, I don't put it in at the top. I just got it in this little plastic vat here, and I'll just look. I'll just, how can I look at see this there? See how I'm doing? Oh, I'm wasting it. But anyway, oh, not a good camera angle. See, I'm pouring it right down. I just let that. Okay, I poured it on the side, so you know these things you know got the holes in the bottom so so this um this uh this will the soil will be absorbed from the bottom and once that gets you know absorbed it'll it'll bring it all the way to the top and once that gets out of that then i'll take it out of this here and probably take it inside where it's warm of course i'm in the greenhouse but we still have a little bit of cool weather so but i'm gonna leave it out here for i'm gonna leave it out here for today and it's supposed to get in the 70s down here in southwest Arkansas, uh, zone 8. And so, and I'll kind of watch it. And I'll let it be outside and, you know, get the warmth of the greenhouse during the day. And I'll probably take it inside uh, in the evening. And, of course, yeah, I'll probably leave it in there in this plastic thing right now. But I'll watch my water so I don't overwater them and get waterlogged. All right? All right.